Hi, I'm Cicely and welcome to my channel. If you like videos about work, life, style, and luxury, then go ahead and subscribe because I do videos like this at least a couple of times a month and I will go ahead and get into it. So today I am talking about what is in my Gucci Marmot bag and this is the kind of camera size and I really wanted to do this video because not a lot of people have reviewed it. Um, you can see the Gucci Marmot with the flap and you can even see this bag a little bit larger but not really like the true small crossbody style. So I just decided I've had it for about a year and I think I have a pretty good idea of what can really fit in it. And so it definitely looks a little bit thick right now and that's because this is absolutely what I can fit into it if I really am going to be gone all day and want to make sure that I have everything that I need. So let's get started. So the first thing that comes out is this little makeup holder and it's pretty small as you can see. It's a little bit beaten up because I've had it for about a year and in this, this is kind of what I move from bag to bag. It's just my basics. It's not like the makeup that I wear for day to day, but it's kind of like the little things to kind of touch things up during the day. Um, so I have kind of like a neutral matte lip and this is just like a Revlon. It's super good, it's super long lasting. And then I've got a red matte lip because you know, I love a good red lip and so this is in case like I'm going from day to night or something and I just really need to dress up like an all black outfit or something. So I keep this in this. And then I also have Blistex in it, um, just you know, my chapstick. And then I also have a very well used up uh, L'Occitane lotion. And so I'll re uh, buy this and stick it in there. But as you can tell, these are kind of my creams and liquids because I don't want to damage the inside of the bag. So it's just really easy. It helps me make sure I don't overstuff it. If it doesn't fit in this little bag, it really isn't gonna fit in this small crossbody bag. And that's kind of what I liked about it. So I know a lot of people prefer the version of this bag with the flap and also uh, they like the bigger version of it or if they're going to go with smaller they like the Soho and that is perfectly fine and I know some people's arguments are that you know this one is more elevated talking about the Marmot with the flap talking about the Marmot with the flap and then they will also say that the uh, Soho is a more everyday type of bag but what I really love about this bag is that it is good for dressing up or dressing down and I wanted something that was very diverse because honestly I didn't want two bags I wanted one bag it was replacing a specific bag for me that I had worn going out and going to class and things like that in college and I wanted a nicer version of that and this is really what I got okay so the next thing i have is of course my phone and so this doesn't really take up a lot of space inside especially since sometimes it's not even in it it might be in my pocket or my hand um, so i don't necessarily put this in my bag all the time so that leaves a lot more room and this is an iphone 10 so uh decent size not the biggest phone but if you look at kind of comparison by size you could easily fit uh, a plus if that's the kind of phone that you have so definitely still more room for this so the next thing that I have in here is this card holder it is let's see well Kate Spade card holder and I got it because I had smaller bags and I wanted to be able to go from if I picked up a large bag, be able to stick it in it, of course. Uh, but sometimes going from a large bag during the work week to a smaller bag on the weekend, I need something that, you know, I didn't have to take everything out of my wallet just to stick it in the small bag. And this was perfect and it fits very well into this bag. So I also have this camera in it. This is not something I would have all the time, but especially if I was on a trip or vlogging, this would work really well this isn't my actual vlogging camera i'm using that right now but it's an old camera of mine that is 
of a very similar size and there's plenty of room for it and everything else I pulled out so it does work I have some earphones in here um, I don't use these frequently I usually keep my I usually keep them at my desk but um, I did put them in because I do occasionally carry them around if I'm going on a trip or something and so they do fit along with everything else I have a business card holder and I think I just got this from the paper source and I kind of have a gold rose gold theme since a lot of my bags are black or have gold hardware and so this just matches everything else I pulled out so far and it keeps probably 10 to 20 business cards and that fits really well in this bag as well because sometimes I'll have a big work tote for my computer but also have kind of like a small bag that I can kind of take with me to lunch without taking all of my stuff with me. I usually have a few of these lens cleaning wipes from either my glasses or my sunglasses. Um, I usually also have some a little bit of change. I have some quarters in case like I need to park somewhere and the meter isn't digital, which is less and less frequent. And then I also have accidentally got some gold and silver dollars in Atlanta when I was using the Marta. And yeah, this came out because all I had was a 20 and I have a whole bunch of these, but it's nice to know that um, I've got, you know, a dollar or two on me if I need them. And then finally, I have my keys. I actually have a lot of keys. I try not to put them, uh, I try not to put too many on, but like this is for work and so I kind of need it. Um, my car key, also necessary. I don't have a key to my home. I have a fob, um, so no keys for that, but I do have kind of like a couple of uh, mail keys and also the key to my uh, mom's house and also here in Arkansas I live really close to my grandmother and I have a key to her house as well so yeah but that is everything that fit into this bag it's actually quite a bit and like as you can see it's decently wide it wasn't overly stuffed when I showed it to you but this is what it looks like empty and so yeah this is a great everyday bag it's a great going out bag it's a great tourist bag it really has been perfect the only thing is that i've had to wean myself off babying it but since it's been a year uh, i'm feeling i i've been feeling a little less cautious with it but um there are no marks or anything inside or out and i haven't been super careful with it um it's been rained on a little bit so it is a really solid choice um no marks um, I, I haven't really scratched it, but I've definitely kind of touched it in a few like rough ways. So I think that you don't have to baby it much at all, even though it is like a soft, not a caviar type of leather, not a caviar type of leather. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and comment or hit that like button or subscribe and I will see you next time. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I